Let's take a look at systems of nonlinear equations using the intersect method on HP Prime calculator. And let's take a look at our first one here. This isn't a perfect method, which we'll see. Y is equal to x squared minus 2, and y is equal to 3x minus 4. Method works out well if you can easily solve for y. It doesn't work out so well if you have a y squared. Uh, you won't be on your apps menu, so if you're not, then go ahead and press your apps. And we want to go into functions. So if it isn't highlighted, then use your arrow keys, highlight it, and press enter. Now in F1, we're going to put our x squared minus 2. So I do my x key squared minus 2, and press enter. And on F2, I'm going to put 3x minus 4. So I do 3x minus 4, press enter. Now let's press plot. And our answer is where they intersect. So I can't see this very well. So let me um, choose my menu, and I want you to zoom, and I'll do 2 for box. You press the number that's in front of it. Now it's saying select a corner. We want to move this up into the upper left-hand corner of where our box would be. And that's probably good right there. So I'll press enter one time. Now I'm holding down my arrow key, but I'm not holding it down too long, because if I hold it down too long, it goes in like super fast mode. So I'm letting up every once in a while. Okay. Go over here. And get about right there. Now if I press enter, it'll zoom in on just, just that part right there. And we have an intersection here, and we have one right here. Now, the intersect method will find whichever one is my cursor is closest to. Here's my cursor. If I go and do my function and choose 2 for intersection, and uh, we put the x squared minus 2 in F1, and we put this in F2, so it says intersection of F1, and we want to use F2 always. And it comes back and tells us 1, negative 1. Okay. Well, we got another answer up here. Um, so I want to move my cursor over close to the one I'm trying to find. And again, if you hold down on it, it'll go super fast at some point. So I don't want to do that. Here's my cursor. That's closer to that one now. So let me do function. Choose 2 for intersection. And then press enter on F2. And it tells me 2, 2. This is a visual approach. Uh, there's different ways of doing this on different CAS um, calculators, but this allows you to visually see what, what in the world are you doing. And that's uh, one of the faults of this is you'll have to zoom in. You have to kind of understand what the picture looks like uh, to figure out where the intersections are because you have to be able to see them if you're going to try to try to do it this way. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to do a zoom, and I'm going to up arrow and choose decimal to set it set back. Okay. So that's our first problem. take a look at our second problem. This one right here. We've got y is equal to x squared minus 2, and y is equal to negative x squared plus 4. Well, these are already in a perfect form. They're both solve for y. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do my symbol. Um, backspace to clean those out, and then I put an x squared minus 2. Well, actually, I guess that's the same as this, isn't it? Um, so x key x squared minus 2, press enter. And I'll do a backspace on this to clean that out. And I got negative x squared plus 4. And press enter. Now if I do plot, you see I got two answers here. Um, let's just go ahead and do menu, choose function, and choose intersection, see which one it finds. So I do 2 for intersection. And I'll go ahead and press enter on F2. And um looks like we get uh one point seven three take two decimal places, comma one. That's no good. We don't like we don't like decimals. That's okay. We'll do an okay. And press your home. And let's let's try uh, try to get the results and convert it to a fraction. So I do my bars, um I want to choose one for function, one for results. And we want to choose 2 for intersection. It says isect. 
and then enter. Well, that's what we expected, 1.73. Now let me push my fraction button. Changes to this. Uh, this is not a fractional answer, and I'll, I'll work it by hand to demonstrate that. Uh, this Again, this is kind of the, one of the flaws of this, uh, this method. Works out fairly nice if you come up with exact answers, but if it's off a little bit, then it just doesn't work. Well, we got another answer, so let's go back to our plot. And the other answer is over on this side. So I'm going to press my right arrow. Wait a minute. On the other side, I guess. I'll press my left arrow key to move my cursor over closer to that one. So I'll put it right, right about there. I'll press menu, choose function, and I'll choose 2 for intersection. And then I'll press enter on F2. And negative 1.731. Hmm. Now, if all you're wanting is a decimal approximation, works out perfect. Then this this will be a good method for you to use in your class. But let's take a look at these uh, worked out uh, by hand. Different ways you could do this. I noticed right away that um, the the x squareds are the same, but the sign is different. So I could possibly use that, but I'm going to use substitution. I show three steps um, in my course. Now our first step in terms of substitution is you solve one of the equations for one of the variables. Um, usually you pick the one with the smaller um, powers, but these are both the same. So I'll choose the first one. y is equal to x squared minus 2. Okay, now um, this is already solved for y, so that's done. Step two, we want to substitute that back in to the other equation. So I've got y is equal to negative x squared plus 4. Now up here we just said y is equal to x squared minus 2. So we're going to replace this y here with x squared minus 2. So I'll be x squared minus 2 equals negative x squared plus 4. Notice after we've done this substitution, uh, the y's are gone. So now we can solve this for x. I'm going to get everything, this negative x squared over on the left side. I'll take the negative 2 to the right side. And remember, when you take anything cross or equals, your sign changes. So negative x squared becomes a positive x squared. The negative 2 becomes a positive 2, which gives us 2x squared is equal to 6. Divide both sides by 2. And we get x squared is equal to 3. Square root property. Drop your square, put a plus or minus square root around the other side. So we get x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3. Well, at that point, we want to take those, and we this, this is step 3, I should say. Step 3 is to take the x values, we, or take the values we just found, and plug it into the equation from step 1. Well, this is y is equal to x squared minus 2. So put in negative square root of 3 for the x. Negative squared is positive, and a square root and the second power cancels. We've got 3 minus 2, which gives us 1. So this answer would be negative square root of 3, 1. Now this other one, we do the same thing. We want to plug it into y is equal to x squared minus 2. If I put that in there, square root of 3 squared minus 2. The square root and the second power cancel, and we got y is equal to 3 minus 2, or y is equal to 1. And this answer is square root of 3, comma 1. Now the HP prime, let me bring it up, if I went to home, it told us that that was a fraction. It was not a fraction. It is a radical. Uh, so that's an that's a issue with um, the HP prime. Kind of the basic guideline for it is, if you try to change it to a fraction and you come up with something real hideous, then it's not really true. That's a approximation that was changed to a fraction. Um, your answer is probably a radical answer. So if you're wanting exact answers, um, then I would suggest doing it by hand. Don't use a don't use a cast capability on this. Um, most college algebras uh, do not allow the H, H, HP prime or any cast calculator. But if you stick with the functionality, basic functionality, your instructor might let it go. But if you go from 
this um, problem here and you write directly the answer down, um, well, then that's, that's probably an issue. <laughs> anyway, that's how to solve systems of nonlinear equations uh, using the HP prime.